If you were given $1,000 and you had to donate those $1,000 to Osama bin Laden or David Wood, who would it be? I asked this question to Daniel Hikikichu on his debate with David Wood about Christianity and Islam and violence and tolerance. Daniel Hikikichu is a very outspoken, unapologetic Muslim. He says the most outrageous things. He doesn't sugarcoat things. He doesn't care. That's what he claims. So I thought this question was a very good question and we, we would definitely get an answer to it. In fact, I was sure that he would give an answer to it. There's nothing difficult about this question and he's very honest. Unfortunately, he did not answer the question. What he did instead was to make fun of anxiety, of my anxiety attacks that I had in the past. Let's watch that. This one from Apostate Prophet says, for Daniel, if you had to donate $1,000 to either David Wood or Osama bin Laden, <laughs> whom would you choose? Wait, you said Apostate Prophet? Yeah, Ooh. that's your buddy. Your, your old buddy, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, ah, these people. Oh, I didn't take my anxiety medication. Oh. Ooh, oh, man. Sorry, Apus. I got an anxiety attack right then and there, so I don't know if I can answer your stupid question. I guess what he's thinking here is, if I just mock his mental health, that will hurt him and make me and Islam superior. Help me understand the logic, I don't get it. He's making fun of me having anxiety attacks in the past, because I openly dealt with an anxiety disorder that gave me big trouble two years ago. That's of course very strong, that's of course a great thing to do for a strong, masculine, proud man like Daniel Hikikichu. I'm sure people in his Muslim audience who deal with depression and anxiety, including his fellow panelists like this guy, also feel very happy about his making fun of people's mental health. You should understand that making fun of an anxiety disorder is very much like making fun of asthma. Imagine we are having a debate about Islam or about different ideologies and somebody has an asthma attack and you start making fun of them like... <laughs> and think you have thereby won the debate and crushed your opponent. That is the mentality of popular Islam. But of course, Daniel Hikikichu comes from a culture and a religion where it is believed that mental health problems are the works of jinn possessions and of similar nonsense. I don't expect very much from the intellect of 7th century Arabia. But should we also make fun of the fact that Muhammad was suicidal? That he wanted to throw himself off a cliff? Should we make fun of him hearing the sounds of ringing bells and feeling scared about that and seeing hallucinations? Should we make fun of Muhammad being afraid of a cloud? <laughs> I'm not joking. Or should we make fun of Muhammad being covered under a blanket and making loud snorting noises, which his close advisors thought was a state of revelation? I think it would be very funny if Daniel Hikikichu also did that. Like, <laughs> I'm a prophet. You better follow me or, or, or else. Of course, I wouldn't do that because... It is stupid. It's ridiculous. I wouldn't wish it upon my opponents and haters to deal with severe mental health issues and to deal with depression and anxiety. But let's get back to the actual question, which he very nicely deflected from. Look how much time we have spent on that. If you had $1,000, would you give it to Osama bin Laden or to your opponent David Wood, the enemy of Islam? Even when prompted to answer the question again after his mockery, he then refused to answer the question and said something along the lines of, that doesn't make sense. Osama bin Laden is dead. I, just to ask you the question though, in terms of taking a crack at it. You're making him answer the David Wood or Osama bin Laden <laughs> question? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm pressing you a little bit. Osama bin Laden is dead, so I don't even understand the premise of the question. Which is not the dumbest thing that I've heard from Daniel Kikichu, but pretty dumb. It does make sense, Daniel Kikichu. It is a hypothetical. Have you never heard of it? Have you never heard of moral questions and moral conflicts asked about Hitler, for example? Like when you are asked the question about traveling in time and taking out baby Hitler, do you object to that by, that's a stupid question, Hitler is already dead, time travel doesn't exist, I don't even get it, <laughs> Your poor attempt to dismiss this question just makes you look dumb. Of course I know the answer that Daniel Hikichu is too afraid to give, despite the fact that he claims to be very honest and unafraid. Daniel Hikichu, if given the choice of donating $1,000 to either David Wood or Osama bin Laden, would donate it to Osama bin Laden, not to David Wood. But of course he couldn't have said that because that would have gotten him in trouble. And it would have also severely impacted the remainder of that debate. Because by the Islamic ideology that Daniel Hikikachu abides by, somebody like Osama bin Laden would be 
misguided at worst. Whereas David Wood is not only a disbeliever from a Kafir land, he is also openly an enemy of Islam and somebody who has mocked Islam and who has mocked Muhammad. It would be immoral, wrong, for Daniel Hikikichu to support David Wood instead of supporting Osama bin Laden. If he had to choose between the two, he would have to choose Osama bin Laden. He would choose Osama bin Laden. I'm not saying, nor implying, that Daniel Hikikichu entirely agrees with Osama bin Laden and that he is a follower of Osama bin Laden. What I'm trying to point out is where Daniel Hikikichu would stand in the dichotomy, the moral comparison between David Wood and the average American and Osama bin Laden. The reason Daniel Hakikichu would disagree with Osama bin Laden is that Osama bin Laden actively engaged in terrorist activity and targeted civilians without a declaration of war. And because Osama bin Laden was a tekfiri, meaning he believed that it is justifiable to declare other Muslims disbelievers, kafirs, that deserve to be killed based on petty factors. Daniel Hakikichu is also sort of a tekfiri as much as he wants to deny it, but he would theoretically disagree there and he would at worst have a debate, a disagreement, a discussion with Osama bin Laden and command him to correct his path and to abide by a proper Islamic law, by, by a proper Islamic creed. The difference between Daniel Hikikichu and Osama bin Laden is that Daniel Hikikichu would probably not fly a plane into the World Trade Center. What he would do is to slowly take over America and then massacre the American population based on their life choices and beliefs and opinions. He implicitly admitted to that before. Of course, he would not openly admit that because that would get him in trouble the honest Daniel Hikikichu. He made a similar deflection to a question that was asked at the beginning of the Q&A. This one for Daniel says, if you had to choose between supporting Al-Qaeda and supporting the secular liberal USA, which one would you choose? Please answer honestly. You know, these are both terrorist actions. We'll look at all the destruction that the US has caused, killing millions of people around the world throughout its history. Uh, much more than terrorist groups. I denounce Al-Qaeda, I denounce ISIS. These are terror groups. They are, uh, there's arguably a lot of evidence to show that they are actually working for uh, certain intelligence agencies from Western countries. Uh, so I denounce all of these groups. And I mean, this is a false choice. It's like saying, uh, do you prefer uh, one type of poison or another? I don't have to address a false choice like that. There are a few things that need to be said here. It's very noticeable that in his answer he focuses mainly on the US being atrocious, which is very typical. And when he addresses Al-Qaeda or ISIS, he merely explains their atrocities in connection to Western agencies. He is primarily referring to the CIA. Of course, it can never be because of Islam. It must be the West. This is also a conspiracy theory for which there is no serious evidence. It is absurd. Secondly, this is not a false choice. This is a hypothetical. You are given two options and asked which one you would rather choose. A false choice is something completely different. That would be, for example, saying we will either have Islam or liberalism and extinction, which is ironically what Daniel Hikikichu does all the time, including in this debate. And finally, notice how he equates the US to Al-Qaeda, which is why he cannot answer the question. Because both choices, America and Al-Qaeda, are terrorists and unacceptable to him in public. And that, of course, brings me back to what are you doing in America? Get the f*** out of here. I want to make it much simpler for Daniel Kikichu and offer him a challenge for the sake of honesty. It will be very beneficial for all of us, for yourself and your audience, for everybody. Let's make it very simple. If you were given the choice, Daniel Kikichu, between keeping the current secular republic of the United States of America or turning it into the Islamic State of America, which one would you choose? Or to make it even simpler, if you were given the choice, would you be in favor of replacing the liberal secular United States of America with the Islamic State of America? For clarity, for honesty, for your wonderful religion, please answer this question. Come on, be strong, be proud, be a man. You're such a Chad, right? Be a Chad, David, Yo, be a Chad. I, look, look. Give a strong answer, be a Chad. You can do it, I believe in you. This is how you answer. You just flash this sword and say, yes, I would. <laughs> yes, I would. Yes, yes, I would. <laughs>
I have to tell you something, Daniel. I couldn't care less about manliness and masculinity and all that nonsense that occupies small minds like yours. But in a room full of random men, most people would not rank you very high on masculinity. Please prove us wrong. Be a Chad. Come on, show it to the Americans. Dear Americans, please see this. Thank you and stay away from Islam. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>